the next 30 days, I'm gonna kick field goals every single day, testing my accuracy and distance to see just how good I can get. What's up, you guys? I hope you're excited for this journey with me. Let's hop in. Now, for a place kicker, there's really only two things that are important, and that's power and accuracy. Previously in the NFL, the PAT was the same as high school and college, only a 20-yard field goal. That is no longer the case in the NFL. Additionally, in high school, you can use a T. I'm not gonna use that either. So we will only be kicking NFL PATs and deeper, and we cannot use a T. Now this right here is an NFL PAT. 23 yard line plus 10 yards for the end zone is a 33 yard field goal. In the NFL, the kicker can choose where they want the ball to be within the hash marks. So sometimes you'll see them do left hash if kickers like that, sometimes right hash. I always honestly just liked right down the middle. So the two metrics I'm gonna track to see how much better I get will be PATs and longest field goal. So today I'm gonna start out with 15 NFL PATs, see how many I can make out of 15. Then we're gonna back it up, see how far I can kick a field goal. I'll train for these next 30 days and we'll see how much better I get. You also need to understand football science when you think about kicking. So a kicker's favorite ball is a super shitty, like John Elway composite football. These really nice new ones, like the Duke NFL balls, the expensive ones, right out the box are the hardest thing in the world to kick. They do not fly that far. But if you kick this thing like a hundred times, it starts to get more worn down. It gets closer to a soccer ball and the leather gets softer. And that's what every kicker wants. So if you ever see a video of somebody kicking like a 70 yard field goal, but they're using a ball that looks like it's from the 80s, it would never fly in the league. I just want you to know there's no magic tricks here. I've got composite leather balls. These aren't my favorite to kick, but and then we've got the Duke. This is the official NFL ball, but an actual NFL kicker is gonna be kicking. So first one we'll do with the Duke. Fun fact, right-footed kickers like the top of the ball to be pointed to the right. It gives you a larger surface area to hit right here. <laughs> exactly, Shane. Hit it, Shane, hit it. Hey! Oh. All right, step back to the left. One for one. That one was missed. Two for two. Oh yeah. Ah. Just for fun, we'll take one from the left hash. A lot of people think kickers kick the ball on an angle when they have a kick from the hash, but that's not true. All you do is you line up the center of the ball with the center of the goal posts, and you kick the exact same kick you've been kicking. I'm line up the ball with the middle right here, and my goal is just to do the exact same thing. Well, shit, if I go 15 for 15, I'm not gonna see a lot of progress. A couple other variables we didn't account for. One is wind. We got a little bit of wind today, but not much. Two is the goalposts. NFL goalposts are thinner and less forgiving than high school goalposts. Three, obviously, there's no helmet pads, fans in the stadium, but also I'm not in the league, so fuck you. Down the middle, right hash. Oh no. First miss. Fun fact my only miss in high school was a field goal from the right hash. Oh. I got cocky. Oh. Damn, I really lost Steve. All right, we are now five for eight. Oh yeah, big news. Do you know what Emily Willis said that she wants to fuck every guy that has a drone on set? Emily Willis said what? Emily Willis said she she loves fucking guys that have drones. She's like, oh, he has a drone. I want to fuck him. That could be you, Mills. All right, Mills, you ready? Now, I'll be honest, technically 7 for 11 is a decent percentage, but place kicks like this in a practice scenario, no helmets or pads, my goal at the end of the 30 days is to be either 14 for 15 or literally 15 for 15, because this should be so easy. I just don't have my mechanics very good right now. That was so much. You think Emily Willis will have sex with males now? I said there was crosswind. So, accuracy test. I'm 10 for 15. I was money from left hash. I shanked from right hash. So in my training, I'm definitely gonna practice from the right hash. But overall, I just see my mechanics to be better because this is supposed to be a chip shot. This really should go in virtually 100% of the time. So my goal, at the end of this video, is 14 for 15. All right, distance test for day one. I'm on the 35 yard line, which is a 45 yard field goal because you have to add 10 for the end zone. By the way, when you're doing math at home, a lot of people always tell me, oh, you add 17. 
16, you had 17. That's only partially true. In an actual football game, if the quarterback is on the 35, you add 17 for the field goal because you snap the ball seven yards back, and then you add 10 for the end zone. But if you're a field goal kicker out on the field, all you do is add 10 for the end zone from wherever you are. I've had kickers tell me that they can kick 57 yard field goals, and they show me a video of them kicking from the fucking 40. That is not how that works. This is from the 35 for a 45 yard field goal. If I can't hit this, I will be really disappointed. I went in, but I didn't have much on that. That might have gone in from 47. So let's go there next. Mega shank. Try that again. Two attempts at 47, both shanks. And I hit it and I might. I'm gonna say fuck it, I'm gonna back up. I think I'm just freaking myself out. All right, so right hash, 50 yard line. I don't know why I kept shanking that 47. Obviously in a game, you don't get this many tries. We just wanna see how far I can hit from, and then hopefully we can improve accuracy as we go through here. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. I don't know if I can replicate that even if I try. Got it on the first one. Go back to 47 down the middle. Oh! I'm getting so frustrated. I'm honestly getting to a point where my leg's getting worn out. Mentally, I'm getting pissed off. I'm gonna try and hit one. I think confidently I can go with the 10 for 15 on accuracy for day one. And my longest kick for day one, I'm gonna put it at 47, but I gotta hit this right now still. I have one more in me. Day one, man, we got some work to do. Uh, accuracy was all right, 10 for 15, but distance, man. I hit 147 and 150. I think I kicked about 15 balls there. So I'm two for 15 at 45 plus. We got some work to do, but we got 30 days to do it. I can't wait to see how much progress we make. I'm gonna go rest up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, what's up guys? Day 10, thought I would check back in with you about the journey. Day two and three, absolutely brutal. My legs were so sore, I couldn't get any good kicks up. So I ended up taking day three just entirely off. Day four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, getting back into the swing of things. And now finally, I feel like I could actually have a decent performance and hopefully show some improvement since day one. So let's get after it. Start a little warm up, 35 yarder. Oh yeah, baby! Feel really good. Biggest thing I notice is literally just the reps. In high school, I could kick 40 kicks a day, about. And after the 25 from day one, I was fried. So I'm finally getting back into it. Before my leg gets tired, I wanna see if we can beat our distance from day one. Day one, we hit a 47, and that was it, which is embarrassing by my standards. So let's hit a 50 right now if we can. Attempt one. Oh yeah. Oh. Hey, I had the distance. I feel so much better today. Let's get it. Oh, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Right down the middle. Woo! Look at that puppy. Ah! Oh, God, I thought I was so fucking washed up. Let's go. Hey, day 10 already hit a 50. See how far back we can go. I almost want to go just one yard, but if I'm going to hit a 51, I'm probably going to hit a 52. Well, let's try 52. Let's add a little bit of difficulty here. It's harder for me over here, so let's do it over here. 52 yarder right side. Oh, <laughs> damn. This right hash gives me trouble. That was distance too, so we can definitely hit a 52. A few moments later. Holy shit. Bitch, I own you. I sent my kicks to a couple kickers I know and asked for some tips. And one big thing they said was keeping your head down. Kind of like a golf swing. Kicking is a lot like golf, by the way. So in golf, you swing and people want to snap their head up to see where the ball went and they end up shanking the ball. It's no different for me in kicking. Every time I kick that ball, I go like this because I want to see where it went. But if you watch pro kickers, they do this. And then they look up. I got to focus on that. All right, 52, baby. Let's get it. About attempt five at 52. Fun fact, by the way, the way Justin Tucker hit his NFL record field goal was like this. Most kickers will take three steps back and two to their side. But what Justin Tucker did was he took an extra hop step back. And to get into his kick, he goes, he like jitter steps. I don't know how to describe it, but again, I'm, it got him a lot of momentum. I don't have it perfectly, but I'm gonna try it right now because it'll give me some power. The reason all kickers don't do that is you lose a lot of accuracy. You notice that ball, it was spinning kind of weird, but that was a bomb and that's a 52 yard field goal. So we got a new furthest, that's amazing. I'm pretty much fried. I really can't kick that much. So I'll check back in later to do an accuracy test. But hey, 52 yes, yards, baby, day yes, 10. Hey, what's 
Alaska Boys Day 20. I wanted to do a check-in with you guys. Number one thing I've learned over these last 20 days is when I go out here and try and kick like full force and try and kick as far as I can, it almost puts me entirely out of commission the next day. I just can't do it. Like my groin will hurt so bad, my whole leg will be so sore, and I come out here just absolutely useless. Yesterday, I rested real light. I kicked maybe 10 field goals in my backyard, just into a net. But today, I'm gonna check back in with accuracy rather than trying to do power. We have our furthest field goal as of right now. I think I can beat it still, but I haven't done an accuracy check yet. So we're gonna do 15 NFL PATs. I'm gonna use everything I've learned so far and we'll see how it goes. Ooh, that's a great start. Beauty! Dude, already compared to day one, I feel so good. Oh, 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 oh! Crash kick. There she is. My goal is 13 for 15, and we are three for four right now. Ooh, that was ugly, but it went in. Oh! Listen, the better you get, the more margin of error you have. That was not a good kick, but it went in. Hey, let go! Eight for nine. Come on! I'm counting that. Hey, nine for 10, good start. Hey, nine for 10 right now, I'm super excited about that. Kick five more here, already seeing a lot of accuracy improvement, but we got some work to do. Oh my God. As I say it. I say as I shank another fucking football. Damn it, I was so hot. Nine for 12, I gotta make these next three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got money over Shane's head. 10 for 13. Oh yeah. Come on, one more. This is to see some improvement. I feel so much better about my form, but I gotta make this one. 12 for 15 if I make it. And there she is. Oh! <laughs> you knew it before you even kicked it. Let's go. 12 for 15 on day 20. I feel really, really good. I just gotta take care of my body. I know it sounds really stupid, but kicking these footballs wears your leg out so bad. But I will check back in with you guys for day 30. That's the big day. We're gonna do the accuracy check again. We're gonna do the distance check again. And we're gonna see just how much better I got at kicking field goals after kicking for 30 days straight. All right, boys, I'll see you then. Hey, what's up you guys? Day 30. Came up quick, man. We're already into May. I didn't know how to format this video if you guys would have wanted to see every single day. So I broke it up like this, but if you like this video, let me know how I can do it better. Regardless, I got the mismatching cleats because you know, it's day 30. I feel good and we're gonna get our full accuracy and distance test and we'll compare that with day one. I feel infinitely better power-wise. On day one, when I was really struggling to hit 50s, I felt very washed up. I'm feeling like I could hit, at the very least, I'm hoping for a 54 today. It's a big improvement, but let's get right after it. This is my first kick of the day. I'm gonna go straight for a 54, right down the middle. And just for the handicap, there's very little wind, if any, but if you can see it on my hair right now, it's going that way. So I'm gonna kick into the wind. The haters have nothing to say. <laughs> Oh yeah! Ooh! Gee. Okay! Do it, man, I feel so good! Already knocked 54 off, like I said. So, uh, let's go 55. 55 yard field goal. Into the wind! No wind assistance. By the way, wind can legitimately add, I mean, if it's strong enough, it could add 20 yards to a kick. But an average wind will add like five yards to a field goal, so. Come on! Oh. Back to back! All right, that one legitimately though, maybe had half an extra yard. I don't think it would have hit, even hit 56. I would have doinked, but hey. First yes, two kicks sir. of the day. Yeah. All right, we'll just keep going back by one. 55, now 56 yard field goal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I do know! <laughs> it's that trend bologna sandwiches. I took trend for 30 days. Look how small my ball shrank. <laughs> The last time I ever tried to kick this deep, I, I've never gotten past 55 in the last year. So this is amazing. We're going for 57. I'm gonna do the Justin Tucker when he hit the 66. He took his regular steps, one step back, and he kind of pony hops into it to get, I mean, you can take as many steps as you want. It's just that the pass rush would get there. So on Justin Tucker, he, he kind of just got lucky that the pass rush was so dog shit. Ooh. Come on! Oh my God! <laughs> oh! Three, every kick has been one yard deeper. Like the 55 was not gonna hit from 56. I am not mad right now because if I had hit one that was so money, 
I would have been like, fuck, I should have gone for 60. But none of these went, were good from 60. They were all pretty much good from where I kicked them. I just shanked about three straight from 58. My leg's starting to get sore. We still have accuracy to go. So I'm calling it here. Max distance, 57 yard field goal. All right, so we'll have Shane hold 15 NFL PATs. See how many we can make. Up for one. That was an ugly kick, but it's in. Three for four. I gotta make the rest of these, man. Take it. Back on track. Oh, hey, it goes in. I'm not proud of that at all. That was the shittiest kick. Ever. Come on. Seven for eight. Gotta stay hot. Technically, my accuracy is technically better right now. But that was, I'm kicking like shit. I uh -huh. used all my leg on that distance. Oh, I'm for 12. It went through. Two kicks left, 12 for 13. I have three horrendous kicks under my belt right now. We can close it out, 14 for 15, but I got hit both of these. Oh, fuck. 12 for 14. That was one of those bad kicks though, and that one finally missed, so it's supposed to. Thirteen for fifteen on accuracy. I was really hoping to go fourteen or maybe be perfect, but honestly, with how bad some of those kicks were, I'm glad they went through. So the verdict after 30 days straight of kicking field goals, I can confidently say I got my power back like pretty fast. I knew I could nuke some. I knew on day one that I could I could improve on that, but. Accuracy is a lot harder. I feel like I improved my mechanics a little bit. Even in 30 days, it's pretty hard to get like super, super consistent. I'd need like six months to confidently hit 15 for 15, so. Kicking looks easy, it ain't easy, man. My leg hurts. Hey, this is an awesome video. I know it's a different video, but I hope you guys loved it. Regardless, 30 days kicking NFL field goals. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.